Hi, I am Serge. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can forward traffic to applications with MetalLB and Ingress Nginx controllers. In simple words, MetalLB is the solution that provides external IPs for load balancer services in a cluster. So you can forward traffic to your pods via these external IPs from outside. MetalLB works in two modes, Layer 2 mode and BGP mode. The BGP mode is out of the scope of this video. Before installation, let's consider an example with layer 2 mode. As you guessed, this mode operates on layer 2 of the OSI model. I want to look at the website myhost.home.local that works in the Kubernetes cluster. While requesting the given domain name, my host needs to figure out its IP address and the MAC address of this IP. To figure out the MAC, it makes an ARP request. After that, MetalLB comes in. MetalLB's layer 2 mode is very similar to Keep Alive D. How does it work? I have three nodes with MetalLB. The leader was selected among these nodes. And when I make an ARP request, the leader generates an ARP reply to my request. My host receives this ARP reply and forwards traffic to the leader. Then Ingress Nginx controller handles traffic and forwards it to the cluster IP service and lastly the service forwards traffic to pods. Before starting the MetalLB installation, I want to mention that there are some limitations. Here they are. Single node bottlenecking and potentially slow failover. Ok, let's continue. To install MetalLB, follow the instructions on the official site. First, check the requirements. Second, set this configuration in QProxy configuration. Let's do it. Third, apply the manifest to the cluster. In the fourth step, we need to configure MetalLB in layer 2 mode. To do it, we need to apply custom resources, IP address pool and L2 advertisement. IP address pool represents IPs that will be defined in external IPs in load balancer services. Check some free IPs in your local area network and set them in the IP address pool manifest. Let's do it. My IP address pool is from 192.168.1.250 to 192.168.1.253. Lastly, before installing the Ingress Nginx controller, let's check how MetalLB works. To do it, deploy the manifest with the deployment and the load balancer service. By the way, my application is a simple HTTP server written in Python. Let's do it. You can see that my load balancer service has an external IP. Let's make several requests by curl. Everything works fine. We are ready to install the Ingress Nginx controller. In simple words, this controller represents an Nginx web server and each Ingress in a cluster is like a server block in the Nginx configuration. I'll install the Nginx controller with Helm.
The installation is pretty straightforward. Just install Helm and execute this command. By the way, all values in the Helm chart will be the default. Let's do it. Small difference, I want to add a debug option to control the installation process. The installation is completed. As you can see, the external IP of the Ingress Nginx controller is 192.168.1.251. To forward traffic to the application, we need to apply Ingress and a cluster IP service. Note that the domain in my Ingress is myhost.home.local. You can see the IP was attached to my ingress. To make some requests from the browser to my domain, I need to add this domain and IP in the etc hosts file. As you can see, everything works fine. This HTTP server responds with the host name of the server where it runs. In the demonstration, we have two names that represent host names of the pods. That's it. I hope it was helpful to you. You can download all manifests used in this video from the link in the description. See you in the next video. Bye!